So, for The Witcher 3, I believe that the last time we left off... The last time we left our hero, Geralt, he was gloriously fighting his way through a devastated swampland. We ran into some small children, and they were very, very inappropriate. They were... Not acting like children, actually. It, it was it was pretty weird. Let us resume. Let us pick up again where I, with our hero. Uh, what software did I use to make the intermission stream? What do you mean? With the be right back? I actually, uh, I actually used uh, GIMP. The what is it? G N U Image Manipulation Program. No, not Geralt gloriously inside Mar Marigold. My gosh. Okay, look, if you need to get your, like, video game porn fix, man, like, just use Google or Bing or something. I don't know. I've heard Bing is better for porn anyway, so. Which, I suppose, is, the only, is a valid thing to have, but. So yeah, we are trying to find those people there. Well, he, what, uh, Dandelion, the narrator, which I remember from last time I streamed, or the time before. Uh, Dandelion, the narrator, is telling us that, uh, yeah, we're trying to find the crones of Brook, 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 Bay, Bog, Bug, whatever. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk oh, to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just got one question for you. Don't be asking no questions. You're a stranger. Not allowed to talk to strangers. Can we eat now? Suit with scratchings. You hear? This whole this thing is weird. Stop scaring my kids. I don't like this. This whole thing oh. is strange. Find a, wor a way to lure Gran away from the. Can I? Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Yeah, but if you've... But I... What? Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. Okay, I wonder if these kids are in fact... You know, the witches, but if some, like, other rival witch gang or whatever, uh, I don't know, Haven? What, what would you call a group of witches, right? Um, if, uh, if they, like, cast a curse on them or something, and now, like, this, like, the Gran is the one witch that didn't get cursed, and so now she's taking care of these kids, which are actually witches. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. Uh. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Group yeah. of witches is bitches, <laughs> brother. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you've got to do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Okay, yeah, I'll tell you what, you guys go hide, I'll come find you. Just, uh, don't come out until I find you. No matter what. Let's I mean, play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy. I mean, you're days. talking to a witcher. He thinks he'll find us Old easy. hags that don't Meet have partners. Hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. Haha, <laughs> joke's one, on you, only have one two, finger and one toe. Three. It's the middle ones. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Ready or not, here I come. I'm so excited. 
Yeah, exactly, using your Witcher senses. Man, you didn't even have to fucking tell me. That was my first step. To just immediately activate Witcher senses. Did one of them hide in the fucking hut? Are you serious? That's where I can't go. Yeah, surprise. I can see you. Mm, definitely not magic. Geralt cheats at games. But he cheats in the good way. See, Geralt doesn't, you know, just like open up a walkthrough. Wow, this is one determined kid. Holy shit. This kid is fucking determined to hide. Oh, cheeky little fuck. Wait a minute. There you are. Is that pee? Did you pee on the way down? You disgusting little twat. It's gonna be twerp, but I'm so used to saying twat all the time that uh, it, it it didn't. MLG hiding strats. I wonder. That'd uh, be a negative. I can see you. Found me. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Okay, that must be one I found earlier. Because otherwise that would be the worst hide hiding spot ever. Unless you had a ton of them. Oh, that actually could be pretty, pretty sneaky. Think about it. If you had a ton of kids... Let's see, up the house to lose the trail, P to hide the scent, and hey to hide the line of sight. But P doesn't hide the scent, P is the scent. P is like the greatest scent you can have, man. It's so strong. I see tracks. I see London, I see France. I see my next target. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play Breaking and Entering next, eh? My favorite game. As a Witcher, you see. Well, up the house to lose the tracks is fucking smart. Except, I'm a Witcher, you see. Which means, I can do things most ordinary mortals cannot. Wait. Hold on, what? Hang on, is he actually outside? Wait a minute, is that the Grant? That's the Grant- Why would they take me back into the- Uh, those twats. Trying to get me in trouble, eh? Dicks. You know, kids backwards is dicks. I meant kids are annoying. They're they're bastards. Hey, I found you. No you left shit. Hide. You're a wizard, right? Gonna You're show a some wizard. When we get to the cottage. No, we'll talk about your promise. found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promise, didn't we? See, they don't act entirely normal. I don't trust it. it it's it's just strange. Gran! Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse! Gran! Come! Ah, yes. Time to mosey. 
Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Well, Where's he might. He might not. I would. She's busy. Dead. Why are you scared to talk? You're not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come around no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, did the, I saw uh, his burrow. Oh, I was about but to say, did the stream Ron freeze? yelled Whoa. at me. Said not to talk to strangers, because then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too. Though she says he's made up. Something's wrong with these kids. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved. Others were killed. Like mine. One day, I went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then, laughing. Went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled. Had the soldiers laugh. Lay my pot down by the barn door. Is it clean off? And then my mum. It's all right. That's enough. Holy shit, you guys. Fucking hell. You guys, this. This game is brutal. Oh. Side note here. I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. I'll tell you why, especially when. Oh not my god. Not gonna hurt him, right? Because he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. So... Right, I I lost yet another one of my friends uh, in, at the very end of August. Right, like I mean, very. Right. Okay. Let me go and pause this so I can just tell you guys. Right. So, very end of August, uh, I lost yet another one of my friends. Um, because his, his funeral is actually on my birthday, which is August 31st. And, uh, so I went and, you know, we buried him. Um, and I mean, obviously, you know, it's like, the thing is about, about these kind of things, you know, this is the fourth friend I've lost while I've been in college. And, uh, it's, it's always difficult. It's always difficult. And some days, sometimes it's, it's easier than others, you know, um, But last night, last night, like, before, right before I went off to sleep, I was thinking about him again. And, uh, so that kind of, I think, shaped up my dreams for the night. Because then, my dreams last night were, they were not enjoyable. It was, uh... Name calling's not allowed. Sorry. What is this? What? Um, so last away? night, right, my Stay dream... Uh, my dream was basically that, uh... You know, some some people that are very near and dear to me, including some of my family members, you know, were uh, were uh, injured or killed. Um, well, and so I don't know. It's 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 difficult stuff. And then, in general, these this game has not been nice in the past. Are these drowners fighting a water hag? <laughs> Jeez. 
So yeah, I don't know. This game has not been nice to uh, the children in it for sure. Um, but then you know, like you even hear the kids themselves in this game. And, you know, they're, they're struggling. This game is very, very well done. Yeah. 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 Um, it's very well done, but, you know, it's like, even, even, the, it's like, yeah. Real. He must leave Prince. The thing is, like, the first friend I lost, it was very hard, of course. You know, that was, that was, that was very hard. Um, because that was the first one I'd lost, you know. And then, yeah, and then the second one, dude, yeah, yeah, the second one, that was also a really hard one, because that one won. So the first one, um, the first one was suicide, um, the second one was, like, his whole body just failed him. Uh, bone cancer, liver failure, Small kidney footprint. failure. He had, like, Johnny's been through here. Like the cancer mis uh, got into his bloodstream and then, like, got into his spine and everything. So everything was just completely fucked. Um, and uh, and my uh, the third one was um, he went back to South Korea and you know, signed on for the military, and, uh, then died. But yeah, um... And then the fourth one, like I said, was, uh, right at the end of August. So... I don't know, it's, it's... You know, some are worse than others. Like, the one that was right at the end of August, that was actually, like, a classmate of mine. Like, like, I went to high school with him, you know? So I was very, very close with him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We can we can change the topic. No worries. I was uh, planning on doing that anyway, but yeah. While we're on the topic of how well this game is made, then why don't we continue talking about how well this game is made? This game is so well made, in my opinion. Uh, it incorporates so many different opinion, uh, not opinions, so many different aspects. Like, like there's a detective aspect basically with this, with these Witcher senses. You know, you have to be. It's like the game does a good mo amount of the work for you, but you do sometimes still have to put the pieces together. You know, it doesn't necessarily guide you all the way. And said this game did get game of the year. Well, yeah, it fucking deserves it. Now, I've played other games that have gotten game of the year before. And they've Tracks definitely been good girl. games. Wonder what's inside. But I don't know if Let's see. Yeah, it, it's I don't know, you know, not all of them have necessarily been worth like a game of Johnny? the year award, but this one this one is stellar. Let me guess, he's some sort of monster. Oh shit, it's this it's a godling. Don't be afraid. We just took care of one of these uh not too long ago. Sarah. You're a bucka? A Luton? Ah, a godling. See? Not many of Called left. It. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. He can't speak, can Why he? Why not? Got no tongue? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Curious. But yeah, this this game is fucking stellar. I love it. Follow him? Want me to follow you? Well, with godlings, you gotta be careful. No choice, I guess. <laughs> hey, camera, let's, uh, let's not be idiots here. There is one thing that I don't like about this game that so many games have difficulties with. Oh, let's not kill him! 
Watch out. Uh, and that's that when following an NPC, like a character you need to keep in contact with. Show me what you got. Um. It's it's very difficult to like keep an at uh, an appropriate Stay pace with them. Me. Like either you run too fast or you walk too slow. See? I don't understand why so many games struggle with this. There's only been one game that I've ever played. But I heard growling. There's only been one game that I've ever played that did that just fine. It's called Runes of Magic. It's an MMORPG. But that was because every this character place? had the same look uh, around. speed. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Yeah. Otherwise... I guess I gotta make this climb. Uh, like, the only complaint I have is a very, like, silly one. Can I actually climb this? Can I Skyrim it? Can I, oh, no! Come on. I was getting up there. Hey! Cheaping it for the win! Oh, uh, okay. This is what we're doing now. Oh, you can spit poison! That's new. I haven't fought one of you that can spit poison before. Get fucked! Nope! Watch out! Get fucked! In the nest summer. Maybe he meant this bottle. <sighs> you know what game is good that has the rune, word rune in, it? rune in it? Yeah, Runes of Magic. Runes, Runes Magic. Yeah, I saw your shitty, like, claim to RuneScape fame. Wonderful yeah. soundtrack. Wait a minute, it wasn't sealed just a second ago and we handed it to him. Whiskey! Slither! Ringworm! Rubbish! Bumblebee! Flabbergasted! Ha! The sound of it! Peter Piper picked Prince Proximo a pack of pickle peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating. Very nice. My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, what? noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? <laughs> How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just, Just amazing. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a Sometimes the godlings are pretty funny. Others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. <laughs> Somebody used some powerful magic on you as a prank or just to be mean. How do you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began cunning crying work. out, A smudger! A smudger! And sick their dogs on me! Do I look like a smudger to you? Look man, I don't even know what a smudger is. is. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. 
Except the crones, apparently. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Oh, brother. Defigating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. This, uh... Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud it could have been me. Oh, and that really. lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired. Just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. Oh, brother. I love the I've animation the in this game, though. It's, it's top notch. But yeah, my Did only complaint small one, too windy. To Nuts too windy. Completely. So I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my own <laughs> life. I heartily recommend it. <laughs> what do you know about the crowns? They're as old as this Terrific. <clears throat> Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers. And you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. What a champ. But yeah, I mean, just look at the animation quality. Real quick. Like, the lighting is just top-notch. Yeah, so I'll slow down if I get too far out. Ah, oh, I'll just straight up stop. That's nice. So that way we can enjoy this. I mean, look at it, the sun glint off his armor. I mean, that is some quality animation. These guys did a great thing. Let's see, games can make wonderful detailed worlds, but it is the gameplay that can make or break a good game. Especially when it comes to replayability. Yeah, that is 100% true. Some games that I've played over and over and over again is, uh, they aren't the best animated. Damn it. You led me right to him, you cuck. This is the part where you die! <laughs> it's always nice when you call something like that and it actually comes true. You know, as opposed to how pretty much everything I ever try to do goes in a video game. Well, just in general. You're asking about physics quality in this game? Physics quality seems alright. Oh, what's this? Some dead dude. Hold the fuck on. Give me one second here. What is... Oh, I thought it would have unlocked. Oh, next. Next one I get to unlock it. Okay, sure. I just realized it said I had a, um, a point available. Point. A point. Sure. I mean, I use it all the time, so it seems fairly important. Skyrim, wonderful game, simple but feature full content for the most part, and creators releasing a creation kit for the players to make their own content. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we even had Bethesda embracing mods like, um, Falskar, or what was that one? Yeah, it was Falskar, right? The one that it was basically an entire DLC, it was just a mod, but this guy did so much. He actually now works for Bethesda, 
because with his mod being so impressive. And so, I mean, you have stuff like that that can help breathe life into a game again that was already very vit uh, that had a lot of vitality to begin with. I mean, these these types of things. Uh, he likes himself some consonants. Um. So, I mean, you have some really high quality games that can then get. Good. It's clear. Know, Not it's a good. crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gaze. Fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered. Listen, I'm a tale. You... You got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Oh, hang on. Let's see. But out of all that is the gameplay. If you could not jump, you could not go... In a bunch of places. Witcher, however, has a fixed jumping system, aka only on ledges and maybe a glitch. W what do you mean? Are you saying that without the jumping, kind of like the cheap jumping abilities in Skyrim, that it wouldn't be as, uh. Ooh, which one do I want? Oh, which one do I want? I don't know which one I want. This one. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. <coughs> Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Ginny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night. Even during <laughs> potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since okay. you put it that way, Jonathan. A very <laughs> critical part cool. of games to me, right, is a lack of visual glitches, like graphical issues, and a top-notch story. And that's part of why Bioshock Infinite, to me, still receives a 10 of 10. And it's the only game so far that I've rated 10 of 10. Witcher is on track to being a 10 of 10 game. Johnny's a good, it's good it's no, stellar so like far. Him. No, foul creature, they um, say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Hmm. Uh, anyone who's seen me play uh, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter on stream... With power over all, beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. Interesting. Getting ready to battle. You would disturb our rest, woman. Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever, too. Where have you been hiding, boy? So, anyway, uh, <clears throat> just a quick wrap up. Right. So if you watch my Ethan Carter stream, you saw I love that game. It's beautiful. Fucking beautiful game. Still doesn't quite get a 10 of 10 for me. 9.5 out of 10 for sure. Well, does it get a 10 of 10? Might. It might. I don't know. It's a really good game. I'll have to think on that one. But yeah, let's see. A uh, good story does not mean replayability. I don't know. Not necessarily. Good story being uh, not meaning good replayability. I don't know if I would agree with I'm that. Looking for the woman with ashen hair. 
I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's I mean, I've played Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time a few times. I'm actually still playing it. I just need to, uh... I just need to, um... What's it called? Um... No replayability at all for the Ethan Carter game. That is true. So for Ethan Carter, there is no replayability. I want to pick this up. Let's get through this cutscene real quick, okay? The young woman. She's my daughter. I want to pick this choice. conversation up. It's a good conversation. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like Sims. Interesting. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Have you got balls, basically? <laughs> wow. <clears throat> no. Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen herd maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. Her. A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll lead with all. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. See, this game right here, that was good. If it had just focused on her the entire time that like they were speaking to her, it would have been cheesy and annoying and oh, boring yes, as shit. Right. But it was good! Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. It was, it, was, it was acceptable. Normally, like, shit like that, like, speaking through somebody else is done really cheesily. To give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. This... It's a fucking big dagger, dude. That's not a dagger. That's borderline Grace sword. The old means payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. Stone nose. Stone. Alrighty, cool. I got seven experience points. What? So yeah. Alright, let's pick up this conversation here. What is it? Um... Where are we? Uh, good story does not mean replayability. Okay. So yeah, you're saying no replayability at all for the Ethan Carter game. That's basically true, yeah. The, I, I played it twice. I played it once when I first obtained it, and then I played it again on stream to share it with you guys. Because I love it so much. It's a great game. Well, and the, part of the reason I love it is because, again, there's that combination of excellent graphical quality, and it's an incredible story. Like, that's a, it's a very unique story. That's a story I haven't... Like, not, it's not even similar to anything I've ever, uh, played before. Not even similar. It's so good. I love it quite a lot. And that's part of why I want to share it with you guys. Because it's so unique. Um, but you're right. There is basically zero replayability for that game. Because it's a very experiential game. The story is very unique. And as you pointed out, uh, the gameplay, the things that you can do... It's so limited to basically, like, like there's very little you can actually do. There's 
very little you can actually do other than just walk through the story. So, yeah, I do agree then with your, um... With your assessment of, like... Damn it, the fucking arrows. Ah, you cock! Come on, come closer. Time to die. Fuck you. But yeah, let's see. Um. So yeah, Ethan Carter, terrific game, but like you said, basically zero replayability. Um, because as again you pointed out, the things you can do basically. The only thing you're able to do in that entire game is just do the story. And that's where there's different things like uh, like Bioshock Infinite, for example. Um, you can play through the game, and you can do it in different ways, you know. Um, Fallout New Vegas, that's a great example, actually. Fallout New Vegas is a terrific example. Um, because you can... Fallout New Vegas is very unique because you can actually go through Fallout New Vegas without killing anything. You can beat the game without killing a single person. Um, or you can go through and kill everybody. You know, you can do everything from everything in between. It's it's really good. Uh, Bioshock, there's the original Bioshock, there's three different endings. Um, or maybe there's two. I think there's three. But yeah, let's see. Was it Bioshock? I heard it's like Dishonored. So that means you can control what you do and how to approach scenarios. But even after beating the story, the replayability dies a bit. So Bioshock, yeah, like I just said, Bioshock is different Please. because it's got the three different endings. And it's based on your actions through the game. It's a lot of fun. Bioshock, nice the first one, is a terrific one. Bioshock no, 2, I, I never beat it because it was, it was boring. If you say I, so. I couldn't get through it. It was it was boring. Bioshock right. Infinite. I've played no, it probably winter, four times. Winter. Terrific game. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger. I master. I didn't know you belonged to them. I belong to no one. Hey! Don't belong to anyone. <laughs> Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell but yeah, and so games Just like Skyrim, right? It's also got a War big, big. Uh, it's it's got a big world. Like, okay, physically, the map is not that massive. Let me uh, let me catch this. Sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. But Under it's still tree, fun because, well, theoretically, you can play through it as any, fathers, you know, as sons, multiple styles. But let's be honest, it's always mothers. stealth art. Folk are afraid to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Unburied bodies? I wonder. When did all this start? So I haven't played Three Dishonored, but so I can't I tell you how close Bioshock is day, to Dishonored, but to check the um, for game. I don't know, Bioshock is a great game. I, one of the games that I'm glad I bought, you know, the stuff like that. Though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands, and the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet And achievements, of course, do help Times have been uh, increase since. replayability, folks if you'd like achievement on it. Charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. Let's see, Dishonored is the same, can go through without harming a hair on anyone though. Fallout New Vegas is an open world, meaning there is more of what you can do rather than Dishonored. While you can do a lot of cool stuff and control your character better in a game like Dishonored, as it is meant more for that. Really, you can control, like, your decisions in Dishonored more? See, that's, see, that's something that I don't know. Now, I'm actually... I should take a look at Dishonored, because I know Dishonored 2 just Save came out. Yourself. And, I don't know, Grand maybe it'd be something worthwhile for me to uh, look into and possibly stream. Yellick. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground... Lightning in the background. One. Holy shit, that was perfect timing! <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, that was amazing! Hang on, let me watch that. Oh, that was so great! <laughs> oh my gosh, let's see. You're saying, ah, uh, got an email notification, fuck off. Uh, when you have a line, it's easy to stay on line. If you have a circle, it's easy to do circle. What I'm saying is, the line is what you do, the circle is the world. To make a circle with the whole thing filled with lines is unheard of. <sighs> yeah, it, it is difficult to explain. Is. They know all. Old Thackler claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Fun. Do you mean like a branching um, type of a thing where like... Okay, well this one, hang on. Suggested level six. I kind of want to wrap up this one though, you guys. Ooh. What do we, uh... Here, let's take a break from that main quest line. Let's do this part of the main quest line. Let's go talk to Vespul. But, first, I'm going to recommend... Hang on. I'm going to save. And then... We're going to take a short break so that I can, uh... Just in order that I can uh, get another alcoholic beverage. Um, but also, if you guys need to go to the bathroom or anything, go ahead. And this is a good time to take that to take that break to go to the bathroom. Go ahead and go buy that from them. I believe it might be available on you on uh, iTunes. Terrific album. So yeah, we were talking about uh, video game quality. What creates a what makes a great video game? great compared to what makes a good video game good and of course compared to what makes an almost good video game bad come on, Roach. come on yeah come on horse now there are some issues I have found in this game like for example the horse is a little bit of a nightmare to control but I mean and and it's always fucking windy anyone who has watched me stream this before can tell can tell you with certainty I bitch about the wind on a very, very regular basis. Also, how, where am I in this world? Oh. Oh. Interesting. What is this? Looks like some sort of, like, military camp. But yeah, um, I bitch about the, the wind all the time. Ooh, we got some sort of, uh, fort or something here, eh? Wait a minute. Isn't this where that, like, tree demon thing was? Quite possibly. But anyway, yeah, um... Animation quality is a big one, of course. Uh, replayability is also a very good one, but... Replayability is a quality that, uh... Canada and I actually were disagreeing on here. I don't mean the country of Canada, I mean the, uh, the regular viewer here. Uh, he, it's one that we are not entirely agreeing on. In fact, you know what? Give me a sec here. There. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So yeah, uh, Canada and I here, we're, we're, uh, debating, uh, whether the story, if it's if it's a game that you enjoy j based on the story, if that means it's actually got a low replay replayability. Now, I would argue in most situations that no, it doesn't. Like uh, I would argue in most situations, a game that you enjoyed mostly for the story is still going to be replayable, even if it was Show mostly the story got. experience that you enjoyed. Horse, let me off. Yeah, get fucked. 
But yeah, um, I would argue still that, uh, it is not dependent on the story. Um, but he brought up my stream of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, which was a great game, a terrific game, but one that is not one you can easily play again and again and again. Something like what I would argue is, uh, hang on, um, should we still talk about that? Yeah, da -da. yeah, yeah, the sword means you are now a mod. So, that means you have the power to time people out, to, uh, I might be able, you might be able to ban people. Basically, you are now an enforcer of the channel. That, uh, that's something that I would give to people that have been here, uh, frequently enough that I would trust them to uphold what I would consider to be reasonable rules of the channel. Yeah, I just gave it to you, actually. So, yeah, well, thank you. I, I appreciate, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I appreciate your companionship, and uh, you've been a regular in the channel, and somebody that I believe would be able to uphold reasonably the rules of this channel. So. Well, yeah, replayability is a good topic, though, and it's one that uh, I don't think everyone always agrees on. And so I'm curious. Everyone watching this, if you are watching this on Twitch, or if you're watching it on YouTube, or if you're watching it somewhere else, if you're watching it somewhere else, please let me know, because I only upload this to Twitch and YouTube at this point, so <laughs> something's really weird. Like, I'm kind of flattered because that means somebody stole it and uploaded it somewhere else, but at the same time, kind of confused. Like, I, I feel like I should be pissed, but anyway, I digress. Uh, let's see, after all the Marigold BS... We gotta talk about Marigold. No, we don't gotta talk about Marigold more. You, golly. But okay, so there are games like The Witcher, for example, that you can actually end up bollocksing it up a bit. Um, um, for example, if uh, you try and uh, get with uh, all of the females, you will be able to get with none of them. Damn, fuck you, dogs. the dead bodies everywhere. Uh, you will be able to get to, with none of them. So perhaps you'd want to replay this game for that. Now, I doubt one would want to replay the entire game just for that, because it's a massive game. And so honestly, we should discuss that too. If we're going to discuss replayability and based on the quality of the game, we should discuss also massive games like The Witcher. I have sunk... Where are we at? Um... I've put 42 hours into this game, so not terribly much, but a considerable amount, right? Uh, I've put uh, 42 hours into this game. Uh, let's see. See, here's one of the few things I dislike about The Witcher. There's about four main ones. The game options don't affect the outcome that much. What was on that tree back there? This man has been sentenced to death by hanging for the crimes of theft, armed robbery, and rape. May his rotting carcass serve as a warning to others who contemplate trespassing the Nilfgaardian's Empire, the Nilfgaardian Empire's laws. Alright, fair. Uh, let's see. The uh, game options don't affect the outcome that much. Uh, there are some that do affect how it goes, but about 40 to 60% don't affect anything. Okay, yeah, and that's fair. But to be fair, I think that's okay. I don't think that every single option or every single choice that you make in a game should like severely affect the end result of that game. You know, like, I understand having some of them, like, build up, but, I don't know, I, I feel so far like it's pretty good. And there are some small ones where it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna sit and read every one of those. No, sir, fuck that noise. Well, what's, uh, what's all this? Run, Roach. Yeah, quit running into the post, Roach. A bandit camp? Oh boy. Are y'all ready for this? 
Time to end this. Oh boy. A whole fucking town of bandits is really what it is. I uh, cast the wrong thing. Got an archer that doesn't know how to archer. Let's see. Give me a sec. I want to check chat, but I'm a little bit preoccupied by kicking ass. Alright, so what are we looking at here? You said, uh, maybe you complete, change how you complete a quest. You don't want to spoil anything. I don't know now, do I? What do you mean, I don't know now? What don't I know? Oh, rip. Wow, rigor mortis sets in quickly, doesn't it? Get fucked! Cut this dude's legs off. Holy shit. I don't think I needed to pass through this. Let's see. Uh in the comment above. Blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. This is the kind of an op experience that I've been looking for in this game. Just finding a camp of them and just fucking wiping them out. Just going through and just annihilating everyone. It's like, I'm not a super high level, but I'm high enough a level to take care of your average bandit with, with considerable ease. As long as I don't bollocks it up too badly. Which, I mean, considering it is me, is something that I can do, well... With these. Oh. Where is this guy? Somebody yelled at me like he was gonna kill me or something, so. Hey! <laughs> Fucking amazing! That I happened to say, like, that he was gonna kill me or something, and then he literally just turns and yells, gonna kill you. That is incredible. Alright, well, after dealing with that shit. Ah, uh, yes, I know I didn't really loot anything, but, uh, at this point, couldn't be bothered. I'll probably come back and kill him again. I wasn't paying attention. I was, uh, <laughs> I was drinking. <laughs> Never drinking horse. <laughs> fuck is that noise? What did I just hear down there? Some sort of weird monster. I'd argue that also... okay, so... Ignoring replayability for right now. Things that set good games apart from great games and both apart from bad games. I will, I'm gonna put forth... that camera... automatic camera and the level of control you have over the camera when you need it sets very sharply apart a great game from a good game and of course That's from a bad coach. game. A bad game will have practically zero control over the camera. Uh, a good game will have can have either you know anywhere from practically zero control to uh, a good amount of control 
as long as it has a, an at least decent automatic camera. And a great game has a has a great automatic camera, and so, you want a based on unlimited camera control. Let me. Let's see. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Damn you guys with your like nice swords that I keep finding and shit like. So long. Now some games are superb because they allow the player nearly unlimited control over the entire experience. Like this game, if I want, sure, I can go through and skip through dialogue of even main quests. I'm not forced to watch or experience certain things if I really could not be bothered. Hang on, I saw something over here. I gotta go check it out. Um, but of course some games, you know, sometimes you need to... Oh, there's go, birds going up. I was like, what the fuck am I looking at here? Is it just a stone sitting out here, or uh, what is this? Ah, it's just a stone. Nope. I mean, I could kill that bear easily, but that's that's effort, you know. Well, here's a caravan that got shredded. Fucking hell, Mike. But also, of course, there's the quality of control over the character towards whatever the character is in or on, like in this, the horse, you know. So, I would argue that, you know, this game at this point probably would not receive a 10. It would be 9.5. Definitely 9.5, but. Not quite a 10, because the horse is somewhat irritating to control. That was a hell of a glitch while well, I'm talking here about quality of game. <laughs> the horse is a pain in the ass to control. And some people will be like, yeah, but horses are living creatures. They accurately represent it. What's it like to impose your will on another living being? And I'd be like, yeah, cool. Shut up. Get out. I don't care. I'm talking about a video game, all right? It's supposed to be fun. It is fun. But it's also supposed to cater somewhat to what I want and or need, right? So... Fucked. GG. Easy. No D. But these guys are gonna start a sewing club? And so yeah, I would argue that, you know, this game does have flaws. <clears throat> And there are some people that would say, you know, oh, well, you can only really let it f dock or, or deduct from the game's overall score if it is something severe, something that, like, seriously impacts gameplay experience or even worst case scenario. If it's something that, wow, okay, okay, yeah, like that. Yeah. That, see, and that, to me, that was a severe impact on gameplay experience right there. That's a huge loss of immersion right there. Huge loss of immersion. My horse just f vanished off the face of the fucking planet, dude. Like, that's, 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 that's massive. Oh, this is a really easy one. Whoa! 
When motherfucking suddenly. Ah, that was stupid damage is what that was. talking about we were talking about uh, stuff and things and whatnot uh, I know we're talking about gameplay experience right so uh, if it's a if it's a glitch or something that severely impacts gameplay experience like the one that we just had with the horse just disappearing uh, or even worse if it makes the game actually unplayable obviously that is going to incredibly severely harm the uh, the score that someone would award to a game. Oh, a little bit of lag there. It all of a sudden, just froze for a split second. <clears throat> so, for example, you look at something like Fallout 4, right? Fallout 4, it was fun. Uh, it looked good. Uh, it wasn't the greatest. Uh, but the thing is, Bethesda gave zero fucks when it came to trying to optimize it, or just not even a matter of optimization, but just getting it to the PC. Like, they didn't give a flying fuck about it. They just made it work, and that was it. And it barely works at that. It's a fun game that I continue to play to this day. I did, I believe, around 70 hours of streaming for that game. Maybe a little, probably a little less. But I've logged... I think around 150 hours on that game, 130 somewhere around there, just because I've enjoyed returning to it. Part of that is because of mods, yes, absolutely. Part of that definitely is, uh, I've, I've been adding mods lately and whatnot, and so that's helped, you know, like Canada was bringing up earlier, that has helped, uh, <laughs> Glory Gate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, that has helped breathe life into the game again because now I've got new things to look forward to its improvements and whatnot You know things that make the game better. However The game is such a pain in the ass to launch most of the time. It actually doesn't work I have to force it down with the task manager so frequently that it's actually irritating to try and play that game. And there's a lot of times where I'm like, man, I'd like to play this game, but I don't know if I actually want to go through the hassle of play of trying to start it. Because it's such a pain in the ass. So yeah. Still here? Looking for something? Ugh, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers made a hold something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. And so, Fallout 4? Maybe a 7 out of 10. I mean, because the thing is, it was a lot of fun. The story was pretty decent. You know, I mean, it's a Fallout game, so it's like, there's only so much you can do. Uh, kind of like a Mario game, there's only so much you can do. But, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, so, yeah. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. So they fucked Molly. in the barn. Keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. I do love this game though, Witcher. life in all its aspects. Examines it from all perspectives. I do love this game quite a lot. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably they don't <laughs> know it. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Oh, they did, like, roleplay. Huh. I mean, uh, I have no you knowledge of this, you. of course not. Well, I'm a stallion once. That's the fool to get us a compliment. If you pulled a bit in the reins of your cupboard. <laughs> the voice acting is also very well done for this game, and that's that's another thing that definitely makes a huge impact on, you know, how much you enjoy a game is how well did the uh, voice actors do, you know? 
is there even voice acting? Vescue. You know, stuff like uh, Super Mario Sunshine, Vescue. where they'll, all Vescue of the voice lines are... <laughs> but it was still a good game, with a voice like because it was fun to play. <laughs> Threw flower pots at him. Yes, so flames never die. And that's the thing, like, there are some games that they're just fun to play. And so, they have high replayability. Because you just enjoy the act of playing that game. It's not a matter of like, oh, I want to experience the story again, or oh, I want to be in this world again. But it's just like, I just enjoy playing this game. And, you know, there, there are some games that are like that, like Super Mario Sunshine. So... Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. <laughs> dwarf, never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> uh, Dwarfs, what Rosa var atre named her guhir. Well chosen, eh? What's a guhir? A dozen of guardian aristocrat with the imperial legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. <laughs> All right, I looked it up real quick. Are we here in the... Uh... Witcher uh, world is a splendid gnomish sword regarded as the best of the world. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. <coughs> I'm, I, I apologize. Most <coughs> rare. You will look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. <coughs> well, well. <coughs> Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. They'll say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. <laughs> Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine, whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Interesting. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. The only thing about Geralt is he's he's got that kind of stereotypical. He's got the Batman voice going on. Well, learned all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Yeah, that's what I needed. Some help. Yeah, you provided that help for me. You helped me so much. Now I'm gonna go fight some monsters or something. You know, that's the kind of thing. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! Hey. What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close Speaking enough. of which, a knight in shining armor. Ass, Grayhead, not your concern. This pew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. The King of Beggars made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's gotta be. Clever. Hey. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely well, out of kindness. Not quite. And you're not entirely a stranger. What are you? Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Close. Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh. Dreadful sorry. Explain something, if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. <laughs> said you two were a bad example, wine women. Song. 
He picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. <laughs> what do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant, that lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Peace. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, hmm. maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with I doubt in the harbor. That. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Of course, it's oh, wow. her eyes that was, that out was her clever. He's too Stay come to up think all night of thinking of that one. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. <laughs> Thanks for your help. I love how it said thanks and good luck, but he didn't wish good luck. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So he just frequented this area, eh? I just love being able to do that. Wait a minute, what? I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. Wait. Yeah, no. Yes? Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Um. Wait. <laughs> oh boy, what are we about to see? Oh boy. Any better? So you're Elihal. Did you and Dandelion? Uh, I mean, how did you two uh, meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna regret this! What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Yeah, this. this is <laughs> business, but why, do you, why do I dress up? As a child. I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. The fuck I is became a, a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. Outstanding. I'm a Danian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I never thought to become someone else. Even for a moment. Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. Not that bad. I managed to stay interested. Dandelion this, uh... Shop often. I tried this is a hell, hell of a surprise. This was not what I was expecting. Sadly, he'd only come in to get oh, a button man. fixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. 
odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. Huh. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help <laughs> you much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. It was, um... Yep. I mean, uh... Good for you, I guess. But, uh, alright, we're gonna go ahead and leave. Oh, bad. At least let him return alive in one piece. That was something I was not expecting in the slightest. Wow, another marker. Damn. Well, well, another freak. Alright, the thing I don't understand is why is why are so many people assholes to the guy that could just like kill them without actually even drawing a sword? Outstanding. Me with my gold boots. Oh, what am I about to find? Oh, what's this? Uh, Geralt of Rivia, Witcher, White Wolf. Recon. You wanted to fight? You want to fight? You stand accused of offending religious sentiment. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. What is this? Surrender your weapons. Over my dead body. Told you we wouldn't fool him. Well, hey. Beating, it will just be more of a challenge. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witches. Ah, I'm glad I told him to fuck off. He asked that we administer a sacrament on his behalf. Your last rites. No, oh, so dramatic. Get fucked! Up, oh, time to finish you off. Kill him. GG. Easy. No re. Amazing! And the guards walk by just like go to do to No worries. Out fucking standing. Oh, I've had enough of living. <laughs> <laughs> fucking beautiful. Holy shit, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, wrong way. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is just something else. Just stellar. Oh my goodness, that's that's outstanding.
This game is really fun, though. It's pretty. That I was needed. I was just trying to eavesdrop. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. And why would I not it wait? He'll not come Greetings, Haggard. Oh. Haggard? The fuck did you just say to me, you bitch? <laughs> Recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to Fungi. Hmm. What? Maybe. No. Won't even try. <laughs> to do that. <laughs> Old, that his <laughs> when his hand abandoned my need to come to the figure, oh, see my him, gosh. I knew the fire between us had died permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. <laughs> I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. Oh. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercises, true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Oh. <sighs> no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up. A snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw, crack! She reigned the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, uh, don't know much about poetry. I don't know how much. I don't know if that's entirely about horses there. Farewell. Not sold. Just gonna throw that out there. I'm not sold. That was all about horses. Hey. <laughs> fucking subliminal messaging. Oh my god. Amazing. See, one thing that's amazing about this game as well is uh, the life going on around you. So for this, conversations. I mean, there's all this, there's all this voice acting that like, I mean, you're never guaranteed that anyone's going to even fucking hear this. But they went ahead and just said, you know what, fuck it, let's do it. Because it's going to add to the experience. It's great. This Baroness mm -hmm. love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. 
I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone. These look like town guards. I'm not gonna fuck with them. Geralt of Rivier at my doorstep. Surely this is no chance encounter. Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. It is medallion. Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh, talk when the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you Oops. run afoul of our emeries? No. You'd be long dead if that were so. It's I doubt it. That you share some interests. But I I'm pretty good at not being place. dead. Will you accept my invitation? Tell me what brings you here. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? I don't like her. She's a cunt. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. Oh man, sorry for the delay. It turns out it kind of pasta. You know, that's kind of what I figured. I figured with the delay, it had to be pasta. So no worries. Yeah, I really don't like her. She's too stuck up. Like, I understand, like, oh, she's a baroness. A baroness. Oh my, what a baroness. But, alright, let's, let's calm the fuck down. Like, she recognized me as Geralt of Rivia. Like, fucking people know me, man, around the world, apparently. So, let's, let's calm your tits and realize that I'm better right. than you in every way, shape, and form. My f Oh. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses? I uh, did not mean to skip that. I didn't know that right clicking. I guess so. every horse I've had roach. <laughs> the gray mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Gray's a nice color for horses, too. My coins on the black stallion, Nemrot, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Such a dick. I love it. I can't remember what I was talking about just a second ago. What did you miss? Ooh. Well, we met the Cro well, no, we didn't meet the crones of Crookback Bog. We talked to them. And then Wait, no, that was before the break, wasn't it? Um, uh, not much, really. Oh, we we met an elf uh who was into drag. Know anything about the chestnut? Or the I don't remember what I was just talking about, though. That's the chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood retaining, gallant steed, but too headstrong right. for my taste. Um, to oh, yeah, I was gonna make a stupid joke. And the bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. You might not like it, horse. but this is the purest. Or, no, not that. I did come here to see that. That is the highest, Patience. purest form of male Short perfection. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with the chores. <clears throat> she shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Seem to know your horses. No, is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. Like, calm your tits. Alright, I'm better than you. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to uh, a of course. Race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beauty. Ah, uh, yes. Man. You hope I'm good at racing? Holy shit, what? Uh, oh no. Not that elf. Oh, you know. You know him? Yeah. Alright, well, I'm pretty drunk, so let's do it! Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge <laughs> of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? The one with stamina, so I can. 
So I can Earth fucking air. run it into the Force ground! <laughs> I'll not ride with you, but oh, I shall no, no, bet nice on glitch. the speed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. He sounds like Tommy Wiseau, doesn't he? Let <laughs> no point in delaying this. Let's let's go. I'm gonna race against fucking Tommy Wiseau. Can I just kill him? Go, go. Get Eat a dick. Come on, Witcher. Let's see what you're made of. Yeah, you wanna fucking go, bitch? You wanna fucking go? Huh? What's that? What's that? Alright, well this horse's stamina is, uh... Rather lacking. Yeah, eat a dick, you whore! No! No! Eat a dick, you fucking cunt! Oh. Alright, so I can wear it down. Oh yeah, I can wear it down. And then... One thing I've learned from previous races is that the NPCs will not- HOLY SHIT I BEAT HIM?! That was... GG! Easy! No re! Get fucked! For whom every horse is a Brother! Exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. Yeah, damn that straight. Is yours. Yeah, it is. Cause I want to share crotch sweat now, with some random fucking lady. twat. Oh. Yes, uh, you remember you got school that tomorrow? You came here after this year's Roach. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. Uh, and no, my, well, you, you might. No, wait. To Tomorrow's meet. Sunday, dude. We'd be delighted to oh, what? Yeah. Besides, um, um, besides, he's he's at work tonight, so. Hey, hey, are you Molly? Let us have a conversation. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again. <laughs> you, you, let's, let's be nice for Dandelion. Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. <laughs> How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the cow in his loo. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. <laughs> know where he might be? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking beautiful. Oh We've my gosh. I love this game so much. <laughs> Says Dandelion's a good for nothing layabout. Can you imagine? Mm, I can imagine. Oh, you can see it's killing him. <laughs> His sister? You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister. Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. <laughs> Maybe. But you can see he cares for her. Looks after her. Wait, gotta kill him for that later. Jesus. Gotta kill- Oh. No, I can find her. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what that look was. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, <laughs> he'd grow all quiet, and then change the subject. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. Came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He borrowed money from you to take you on a date. Be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles. Champagne. And he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Oh, she seems so innocent. Like I, I feel bad for her. Thanks, Molly. Wait, before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. 
She seems so innocent. It's so cute. So hang on. Do okay. So I just leveled up. So that's pretty fucking cool. Um, <clears throat> classic Romeo borrow her money for a date for her. Right? Fucking right. Ah, oh, here we go. Holy dick balls. That is a nice fucking saddle, my friends. Aye, that's a wonder nice motherfucking saddle, aye. 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 Wait, wait, wait. They want me to wait with them? Yeah, I'll return with them. Why not? Cunt and contact. Geralt, do the thing, you fucking... Come on. Come on. <laughs> Shall we return together? Shall I shove my sword up your rectum? Gladly. It's a long way to Molly, Lovecraft. by far, this is the coolest sure camp dandelion show. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. Yeah, Molly seems pretty chill. Michael, you drunk. Keeps dreaming. <laughs> I am drunk. How dare you accuse me of being drunk? Or whatever. <laughs> Maybe I just appreciate an inebriated state of existence. I do like my shiny boots, though. Cute eagle cry. <coughs> Sorry, that was like pterodactyl. I can't. So, when I was younger, actually until I was probably about 14 or f probably 14, I was able to do this like eagle cry basically. My yeah, sister taught know. me how to do this. Where you'd like, you you'd really cool. hit your voice super high. Super See. loud. It was fucking crazy. And I'd do this all the time. Just, I can't do it anymore because, you know, puberty is a thing that happens. Um, whee! But yeah, uh, I don't know, it was a lot of fun. Oh, thank God. I got another spice. I can have another ability. Alright, so I've got those. Uh, and we've got all three of those active. Three of those. Not all three of those. Hmm. Alright, what do you guys think? Should I do Sun and Stars, which, uh, my vitality, so my life force regenerates <laughs> now that I'm a mod? Oh boy. Give me a sec. Let me, uh, let me look at this. Oh, hang on. Let me let me unmute. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> so, should I do uh, Sun and Stars, uh, which? Regenerates my life force during the day and a little bit during the night, or adrenaline burst. <laughs> I'm gonna mute that so that way it doesn't cause too much echo. Let's see, what should I do? I'm thinking sun and stars because regenerating life force is pretty fucking neato. Got a lot of money. Money, 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 money. Oh, wait a minute, I've still got a skill point to assign. Yes. Yes, I would like to improve that ability to max it out. Yes, I would, uh, I'm very much interested in that. If you're doing melee, adrenaline burst? I mean... I mean, that's actually a good point, because considering the fact that, uh, I've got advanced swallow and whatnot, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. That's, that's a good point. Ah, that's a good point. Hey, a whore. Wow, I am wounded by your words, ma'am. Madam. 
I am wounded. What do you want? Sex. No oh, wait. Rose of our Atra is expecting me. Supposed to give her lessons in swordplay. Come with me. If you know what the I mean. Awaits. I love that that fucking worked. Won't you realize what you've got yourself into? Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grip. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. Or you'll earn the ambassador's ire. Follow me. I mean, I'd love to follow you, but you gotta fucking move, man! Oh, my Canadian neighbor doesn't get too pissed off. Oh, shit, there's a door there. He said, uh, the only time he's been able to hear me is during my Skyrim stream when I was, like, screaming at Aldwin. You're Time to fuck you up! Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. She's the best looking one that I think we've talked to. I'm gonna fuck you up, ma'am. Ah, uh, Axie, I missed- what is this? Hang on. Shit, what am I looking at? He's wearing his underwear on the outside? What a nerd! Got to wear a diaper in case I wet myself! Fuck me, she's good. Okay, all right. Why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? That's what you're gonna say, really? To the fucking witcher, you bitch! To the fucking witcher! What the fuck are you gonna do to me, huh? What the fuck are you gonna do to me, huh? You got, you don't got shit on me. You don't got shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you up so hard. You are gonna understand the meaning of being fucked up when I get done with you. You don't understand at this time. You're gonna start to have to write down the definition of getting fucked up by the time I'm even halfway done with you. Oh look, halfway done with you. Guess who's gotta redefine their definition of getting fucked up? I just about shook my uh, headphones off. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I'm a witcher. I'm looking f A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Um... Uh, what's so exciting about it? Living on the edge. Tracking, then facing down beasts. Sleeping under the stars. Oh, it must be wonderful. Hmm. Tracking <laughs> a zoogle while up to your neck in sewage. Nothing quite like it. Not one of the high points, I suppose. Wait. Weren't you about to ask? Sorry. <laughs> Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer. Don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know. Terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me <laughs> When you got it, turn your volume down because Michael is so drunk. RIP! Came rip. to ask about your rhetoric rip, tutor, rip, 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 if you call uh, him yes, I've after been me missing these kind of things. Even so, there was nothing to <laughs> Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Uh, oh, you want to fight me again? Oh, really? Alright, you want to fucking do this? You oh, fucking idiot. Alright, I mean, if you really want to fucking go, will using witchcraft, like, actually. Ah, oh, oh, you're not fucking around. Alright. Why bother with two? Mm, why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? Yeah? Who's getting their ass beat now, huh? Yeah? Who's getting their ass beat, huh? 
Cause it sure as shit ain't me! Yeah! Get fucked! Get fucked! I've been training for this. Says the lady training. Oh. Damn it. Yeah, get yeah. fucked. If you're not an instructor, you should certainly be. <laughs> Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Private lessons? Oh! 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 It's gonna be a threesome now, eh? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Vartra, the greatest mischief maker north or south. Ah! I'm sorry, you guys. Uh... Wait a minute. You mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? Oh, no I mean, it's pretty yes. easy to do. Well, I would. I did. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best uh, intentions, you know that. Twas a I jape. Why is Axie good? I find it pointless. I do too. I prefer Ard. He'll next sing at your I'm not sure what he's on about with right uh, praising Axie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Ard and Quen. Uh, I prefer Quen, then Igni, and then Ard. Uh, it though. Alright, let's let's calm down, Let, women, ladies. I calm down. It's a kill out. Alright, so, uh. Ard, Quen, yep, they're good, but I'd go Quen, Igni, uh, Ard, uh, I might use, uh, what's it, was the one that starts with the Y, like Idra or whatever? That one, I, of course, you have to use it, though, when you're fighting, um, uh, what are they called? Like, Wraiths. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You need oh, these two are catty. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Both of them. Usually even for dandelion. We oh, did they actually have a threesome out there? Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. What are two young Nilfgaardian aristocrats doing in Novigrad? Dying of boredom. Papa's a diplomat. He also has many business dealings in Novigrad. He's a member of the Trade Corporation. Takes us along everywhere he goes, and must then find us new tutors in each spot. And so in Novigrad, the task fell to the poet Dandelion. Rosa's betrothed. Edna! Hmm. So... So she was cheating on her fiance, eh? That sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade. And people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Like Switzerland, eh? children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. 
And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Changing hmm. subjects. Who Dandelions sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kaviri. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Zoltan! Destroyer of worlds! Dominator of cultures! Zoltan! The ultimate warrior! Can I expect any more lessons in future? Mm. Oh. This. Nah. Name the time and place. How's here tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. Oh, 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 and she's jealous. Oh. Geralt's gonna get some. Hey, thank you for the follow, dude. Hey, filthy. Hey, it's Rose. Oh, shit. What up, Rose? All right. Give me one sec here. Um, we're gonna save. We're gonna go to a break real quick because I need to utilize the bathroom. Uh, wanna see what your play style is, blah blah. Uh, da da da. When it comes to play styles. You love the mind control play style. So, Canada, why do you like that? Why do you like that? On a completely unrelated note, you guys, by the way, it's snowing outside here. Like, it's actually snowing. I'm super excited about it. I love it. I don't know. Like, snowing for me was super exciting when I was young. And then when I was like 14, I got a driver's license. And snow sucked. Because then I had to help shovel off the sidewalk and I had to drive in it and all kinds of stuff. And then I came to college. And I no longer have a car because it's a lot cheaper to not have a car. The steam overlay arrived or showed up. Wow, what a bitch. Aren't you too old to be out hauling? Wow, you are also a bitch. Michael, one day I'm making your damn intermission screen with a timer. <laughs> I always tell you guys about how long the intermission is going to be. I'll tell you guys it's going to be like a four minute intermission. Uh, I don't believe I can get over this. Oh, I was about to say, let's do it anyway! But yeah, um, I <laughs> see some of the stuff like, uh, I really show my personality. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, I figure, you know, Playing video games is one of the things that I really genuinely enjoy doing. So, why should I hide who I am while I do something I enjoy doing? Especially if I'm going to share that experience with somebody else. And that's genuine, That's really the reason I started streaming, is because I wanted to share the fun experiences you have while streaming. So hang on, can I just like... do this? Oh, rip. Um... But yeah, let's see. Why that you like the, um... And then we'll do this. <laughs> Aha! GG, easy. Uh, let's see. You like the mind control playstyle because it unlocks freedom as you can go anywhere as long as there was more than one guy. Uh, you were fine. Also, it's mind control. I like that kind of stuff rather than brute force. Just like, uh, you like the conjuration in Skyrim. Skyrim! Greetings! <clears throat> you here for a specific reason? Oh uh, yeah, I just thought this would be a good place to whip my dick out. Got a meeting with Rosa. 
a fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia. Oh, yeah, same thing. Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. Alright then, let's go for a bit of a walk. But yeah, why would I change who I am? Well, I'm doing something that I really enjoy, especially something that I plan on continuing to share. Like, playing video games, you know? It wouldn't make any sense to me. You know, uh, to falsify who you are, to play up to a certain thing, like, no. No, it, it's, it's a lot easier on my life, it's a lot easier on you guys, you know, that if I were to... Hmm. Strange. Let's go ahead and follow them. Since Geralt said it was strange. But yeah, um... If, see, and here's the thing, part of it, okay, fuck it, I couldn't be bothered. Um, if I pretended to be something else, I'd have to remember to do that every time I played video games. And it would actually get really obnoxious and hard to do. What? The fuck? Really? You guys want to fight? Are you sure? Alright, goodbye to you. Fucking You fucking what mate GG easy But yeah, I mean it just it wouldn't make it doesn't make sense to me and here's part of the other issue. I find people who do that, like they play a character, you know, they pretend to be something they're not when they're streaming. I don't like it. I don't like watching it. It's easy to see. It's it's, it's kind of obvious. So, yeah. Make others do your work in uh, in what regard? What are you talking about, lad? Excuse you. I was walking here. I'm walking here. Well, you can turn, kind of. Interesting. Wonderful. Jump! Yeah. Oh, did chat crash? <laughs> Rose, thank you for the follow. What's this? Oh, gosh, sauce. What? You again? Want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? <laughs> oh God, I say! Victory will be mine this time! I've practiced with shield and sword! Many a headless scarecrow around here! Oh, brother. Heed my warning and stand and fight! Yennefer. Which of the uh, wonderful Witcher relationships am I going with? Yennefer. Absolutely, Duly Yennefer. Heated. Now show me what you got. Show me what you got! G G My friend, I'm doing this drunk. Yeah. I did that Fair drunk. Enough. How dare I? Yes. But next time go back to Maid Bilberry. I got an email that said that she followed, ass. so quick before I Also a Twitch alert said that it happened. Bones. We shall meet again. I, I mean, I'll kick your ass again, dude, so I'm not really that concerned. Thanks for the free experience points. You dummy. I'm here! No Don't you fret! Always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have <coughs> I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. Not even but a name. His Excellency Ambassador Baratra said that. And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia, the best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally, 
Let's go, Geralt. I've something I wish to show you. We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. Alright, if you insist, I mean, I will follow this beautiful woman into unknown territory. Especially considering I'm a fucking badass! And can handle, like, most things. Except for griffins. Except for griffins. Can't, can't handle them. Just haven't been able to figure out how to beat them yet. I haven't figured it out yet. There's one complaint I have, right here. Let's take a look at this camera view right here, right? You see the dried on, like, rain spots? That doesn't happen in real life. That's not how eyeballs work. So why does that happen here. in game videos? That's, see, that's the I one thing I'm like, I don't know about training in a dank gold cellar, dank. we move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. Hang on, what's this, uh... Michael, why do you keep saying what? Why not go with the Junkers? Fits perfectly. Or the crew party? What? What? What do you mean? I'm... I'm confused by what you're referring to. I, I don't under, I don't know what you're referring to. And then uh, Filthy Casual says, I'm also a lady. Prove it. If that's what the lady wishes, just don't want to see anyone crying later. I have a hanky for you, just in case. <laughs> she is fucking not dicking around. Lady, I'm gonna fuck you up. Like, that's the thing you don't understand. I'm fucking Geralt of Rivia. Yeah, no shit, you yield! You alright? Yes. The only thing you've really hurt is my pride. Uh, let's see. Michael, what you have said, what you typed to the last three followers. And Donami, do you have a name for your followers? No? I mean, I would probably do that for, like, subscribers, but... I don't have any. <laughs> By the way... No, please. Please don't subscribe. Please don't subscribe. I don't want anyone to subscribe. If you want to give me money, just donate directly. There's a donation link below the description... or uh, in the description of the stream. If you subscribe, it gives me money regularly, but it also gives Twitch a dickload of money. ...terrible food and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, <laughs> but would you mind turning around uh, for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I don't know if I, I can trust understand her. a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset? It slows you. Rosa? What? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varadra will kill me. Need to find her. Can't be far. GG easy, no re. No loitering around here. Seven cats is this way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. Cause girls, they wanna have fun. All oh, girls just wanna have. They just wanna have. They just wanna. Who's this? Oh boy. Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. I mean, she's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. Maybe if you were paying attention during our sword lessons. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. 
about this beast, then oh, we would send the world ourselves. I believe you've offended the young lady. Now apologize as nicely as you can. For, forgive me, milady. I, mm -hmm. I am sorry. Your turn. That's what I fucking thought. Be nice like your friend. Bow low and go be a patriot somewhere else. Lucas and Kobe. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand against me. That's enough to have that hand lopped off. Alright, calm down. Calm down. And you wonder why the locals hate Nilfgaard. I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us, our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You well, her mouth did now. some weird I things the there. Shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt, and good luck on the path. Did I just fuck up something with her? Like, bah, well. She probably had AIDS or something. Otherwise, anyway. Uh, Yeah, by the way, Rose, kind of being a dick there, aren't ya? Who do you think you are? You um, Geralt of Rivia? Who do you guys think you are? I'm coming for you, dear! Nope! 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 Nope. There is no escape. You are trapped between humans and witcher. The only escape is death. No, nothing was going to happen. Trust me, I know. Alright, well, thank you, Canada, for being so thorough in your sexual investigations of The Witcher 3. <laughs> Why am I killing all of the, uh... You guys are all freaking about about me uh, killing the deer? Are you serious right now? What you of course I'm gonna kill them! Name Free meat! Rost and Muggs. Need your help in a grave matter. A grave matter or like a, a grave matter? What's it's a gravy matter? matter. I came here on business. Sadly, just there across the river. Toward the bridge's end, I was attacked. Smashed a bottle of the finest dwarven spirit on the burger's skull. But the robbery was still a partial success. Tell me what you want already, and be brief. Thief ran off with my documents. Very important <laughs> documents. I need you to get it back for me. They're just... They're virtual deer. That's the thing. They're not even real. They're not even real. And besides, their death will help me. Work for free. Whether I uh, use it or not, it's since good. Since the dawn of time, no witchers lifted a finger without pay. I've a smatter well, in the coin of the souls I've, I've done it a couple times. Return the documents, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. What's been interesting is to see that, uh... More and more during this um, during this playthrough, I've seen Geralt like on his own demand payment. Now earlier in the game, I did do a few things to help people out without payment. Dwarven moonshine, nothing stinks quite like it. <laughs> There's the bottle. Mugs was attacked here. Ba 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 da. Okay, why does the scent trail wobble back and forth like that? Did they run away in like a zigzag pattern? Would it mean followed by an alligator or something? Just like, you gotta bob and weave, man! You gotta bob and weave! They can't get you if you bob and weave! 
Like, what the fuck? Just run. Run like a normal person. Hey, you found him. Hand documents, thief. Me? A thief? I won him straight, I did, in a game of cards. Not how Mug sees Wait, it. what's this? Claims he was... Mugged. <laughs> I know you guys are fucking with Lost. me. Demanded them yeah. papers back. And hey, you Rose, you're, you're drunk too? Like me, hey. With a bottle. Barely escaped with me life. Hang on. I am shit posting wildly in the chat right now. Give me the papers. You have to. I do have to say, upgrading the Axie, uh, the delusion or whatever, uh, thing has been incredibly useful. Incredibly useful for this game. Horse! Come hither. Ugh, fuck you, man. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Slower. Axie! Yes, Canada, I used Axie. Yes, I know. Because, like I said, like I, well, like I just said, um, in conversations, it's been incredibly useful. And I knew it would be, but I needed to be able to upgrade my combat skills first so that I could survive combat, so that I could continue to level up until I was able to safely uh, upgrade Axie. Get out the way, midgets! I am more important than you, for I am a witcher on a horse. Well, so I can't hook up my headset because there's no mic jack in this computer. What? Found the thief who took your documents. I can't be. Let's go get him. You can hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost to him at cards. Ah, cheeky bastard! Well, like me aunt Rosalie always said. Lies got but wee legs and don't run far. <laughs> <laughs> the documents belong to my employer. A deed to a townhouse in Wengerberg. And true enough, I've been drinking. Got a bit carried away. I lost them in the game of cards. Yeah, Gwen, which I do not bottle. play because I don't remember how to play it. What was it to do? He weren't willing to give him back. Do you, do you have when a... When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I, I fled. Without them papers, I have neither gumption to show me face at home. Hang on. Rose, I don't understand. You're saying you have issues with your headset, but... You have just a headphone jack, but that's it. Oh, is it one of the ones that splits? Is it... Ah, I... Just go on and uh, get yourself like an actual Here, now thing. Pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. We'd not have it any other way. These guys talk like they're Scottish. Hey, wouldn't they have it any other way? Didn't they, yo? Wow. Sorry, that was a combination of, like, Scottish impersonation and drunk. Which is just more Scottish impersonation. <laughs> uh, anybody Irish in the chat would love that. Of course, I mean... Oh, see, I don't want that. I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit J. And... Oops, rip. Consult with Zoltan! Destroyer of Worlds! Come on, horse. Let's uh, figure out which way we're going and uh, go That's in that direction. Let's see. Oh. Broke college kid, Michael. Hey, join the club, as am I, which is why I needed the job that I no longer have. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, and you're saying, uh... Your headset does do the thing with two jacks? Yeah, that's kind of one of the figures. Your pirate eye No, I didn't... Did I say offended? I meant pleased. I actually did. Uh, if anyone was here was Irish, they should be really amused by the joke that I just said. Witches of Kundin rain. 
All right, horse, stay here and block traffic. I'm gonna go talk to somebody inside this building. There's a floating bow and arrow outside of it. Because wizardry! Ah, you're back! You Man, the talking. animation on this game. You to stop talking any what?! That field marshal dude is replacement? The marshal was a parrot. You do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things mm. up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could they? It weren't possible. Ah, but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Uh, let's see. After watching this, I still have no better understanding of what this game is about. Rose, my best understanding at this point is that this game is about Geralt, this guy we see right here, right now, with the, with the, like, yellowish, but supposed to be gray hair. It's, like, kind of pea-colored a little bit. Anyway, he is looking for Siri, who was his, uh, basically daughter? Somebody who he... Understood as understood as his daughter. Sorry, I went a little Sean Connery. Sean Connery there. No, he understood her as his daughter. His daughter. There we go. Um. Yeah. Right. Um. And so, Geralt, this guy, uh, is hunting for her, looking for her because he understands that she is basically in danger slash on the run from the Wild Hunt, who is. I don't really know entirely, but as far as I'm aware, some sort of like weird demon mystical thing which is super bad and bad things are happening. Also, there's a civil war going on at the same time. So, think Skyrim plus Fallout. So basically, you're looking for somebody to save them. At the same time, there are the Wild Hunt, like dragons in Skyrim, that are just fucking everything up because why not? And there's a civil war, just like in Skyrim, going on at the same time. Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. I've not seen hiding or hair of them in ages. It's All actually really good. It's actually quite things. good. It, it, see, because the thing is, the story, eh, but... But the thing is that it's a lot of fun to play. Let's because you get to fuck him. things up with swords, uh, man! We would alas study in natural history. Asked her about the habits of trolls. <laughs> you know where he went with the cook from the Pass of Flora? The Oxenfurt Novigrad Road, which has just now been repaired. He was there for hours as laborers crushed boulders into cobblestones, trying to pass it off as a romantic outing. Wow, that guy is terrible. Oh, a human woman, but that would bore a dwarf and last to tears. <laughs> you old, that poet of ours. Maybe. Main character or looks like an ass? That for I don't know. Sounds like you found something out. I don't think he's entirely emotionless. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, oh, mystery woman rip. wasn't on my Hang list. On. What she is supposed oh. to be like this last. Blonde from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. I must be her. So I punched my monitor a little bit. Why wasn't she on the list? Mm. This Priscilla wasn't like the others. I think Dandelion more than fancied her. I think it was fair for her. He lusts after every other woman he meets. How can I explain? Who does Dandelion love most? Himself. Exactly. And she's his mirror image. Interesting. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? The laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers troop. Reynard and the Foxen. 
Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? <laughs> that is true. Ah, yeah, but I understand that. Sentenced to an night of poetry? I am completely on the same page as Geralt in this one. Except, uh, it's like... <laughs> I know some of you guys in the chat right now are bitching about it. It's like... Oh, what? Oh, Roach is just in there, okay. I'm bitching about, like, you know, he looks like a tryhard or whatever, and I'm like, you know, it just, he sounds like one. Because he's, like, trying to sound so cool, like, like Batman. If I have a deep, almost gravelly voice, it makes me a cool and tough main character, you see. This is what Nicolas Cage would sound like if he had throat cancer. Or so I would assume. You know? I mean, that's that's basically the situation we have going on. <laughs> Must be after sundown already then. Perhaps it's not. Alrighty. Oops. How about this? How about we go ahead and call it a day? Why am I still hearing music? The game is closed. Thank you. I'm thinking we'll go ahead and call it a day. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, you just called the playtime uh, uh, command. 4 hours, 58 minutes, and 52 seconds. That's, uh, that's quite a lot. But, that's not what caused me to decide to stop streaming. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm pretty drunk. I have to be awake at a semi-reasonable time tomorrow because I have plans tomorrow with friends. I know, I know. Um, it's not, it's not with a girl. It's not with a girl. I mean, that would take a higher priority than than this one, but, um, but there is a girl, you know, but not tomorrow, probably not, to is there one tomorrow, I don't know, probably not tomorrow, I don't know, there's a girl that, anyway, that's a completely different story for a completely different night that is not this night, not while I'm drunk, because I cannot risk talking about it while I'm drunk, I, I, I can't, I can't risk it. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys are... Get out there, Michael. Go meet them, ladies. You know, I mean, it's it's not a matter of a lack of meeting them. It's a matter of... Again, I, I can't say too much for risk of giving things away. I, I, I have to be careful. But... I love you guys. I love you guys' companionship. Um, it's always fun to have you guys with me. And so uh, I plan to stream again as soon as I can. But unfortunately, we are about to hit finals, which means things are going to get really interesting grade wise. <laughs> I'm not sure how things are going to go for me here pretty soon, but uh, interesting is one word I think could fairly apply. So we will uh, take a look at how things go here pretty shortly, and then we will address them as needed. But I believe in, during the winter break, I anticipate that I'll be able to play more frequently. Um, let's see. What are you guys saying here? I'm not talking shit behind their back. It's a more complicated situation than that. It's a very, very complicated situation that I can't really go into with uh, at all because of the kind of a bit of the delicacy of the matter. And I, I really can't go into it. And so I really better not even risk it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, I anticipate definitely streaming nearly daily during winter break um, with of course the exception being around Christmas so like a couple days before a couple days after you know uh, of Christmas probably not gonna be any streaming but around that no it's not again it's not a matter of knowing how to flirt tell you what Rose if you jump into discord right after I close the stream we can talk about it a little bit okay 
But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, expect more frequent streams during winter break. Uh, so coming up in, uh, holy shit, like two weeks. <laughs> My gosh. Fuck me. Yeah, uh, just under two weeks and I should be done with classes. But anyway, during winter break, more frequent streams. So in other words, more frequent suffering for you guys. And on that note, as always, thank you for watching. Sorry for your suffering. Take care, and I'll see you next time.